Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the latest insights in the world of clinical research. In today's video, we will discuss a topic of great importance to clinical investigators. The Top 3 Reasons for FDA 483 Warning Letters If you want to ensure compliance with FDA regulations and avoid potential pitfalls in your clinical trials, stay tuned as we uncover these critical reasons. Let's begin. Inadequate Informed Consent Process the first reason for FDA 483 warning letters to clinical investigators is an inadequate informed consent process. Reason 1 Inadequate informed consent process When conducting a clinical trial, it is essential to obtain informed consent from participants. The FDA closely examines whether investigators provide comprehensive and understandable information about the study's purpose, procedures, potential risks, and benefits. Warning letters may be issued if the informed consent process is incomplete, misleading, or fails to protect the rights and welfare of participants. Reason 2 Non-Compliance with Good Clinical Practice GCP, Guidelines The second reason for FDA 483 warning letters is non-compliance with good clinical practice guidelines. Good clinical practice, or GCP, is a set of ethical and scientific quality standards for conducting clinical trials. The FDA expects investigators to adhere to these guidelines to ensure data integrity and participant safety. Warning letters may be issued if investigators fail to maintain accurate and complete records, adequately supervise study staff, or follow protocol requirements, leading to compromised trial results. Reason 3 – Inadequate Reporting of Adverse Events The third reason for FDA 483 warning letters is inadequate reporting of adverse events during clinical trials. Prompt and accurate reporting of adverse events is crucial for monitoring participant safety during clinical trials. Investigators are expected to collect, evaluate, and report any adverse events to the FDA and the Institutional Review Board IRB, as per regulatory requirements. Warning letters may be issued if investigators fail to promptly report adverse events, omit essential information, or underestimate the severity of events potentially jeopardizing participant well-being. Conclusion Ensuring compliance with FDA regulations is of paramount importance for clinical investigators. By addressing these top three reasons for FDA 483 warning letters, investigators can enhance their practices and maintain the integrity of their clinical trials. We hope you found this video informative and helpful in understanding the key areas where investigators need to be diligent. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more valuable insights into the world of clinical research. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Remember, by staying compliant, we contribute to the advancement of safe and effective treatments for patients worldwide.